I would feel disgusting if my husband ever came to me and said, I want you to sleep with another man or oh, sleep with another woman because every <laughs> single time that marriage ends in divorce. Guys, this is absolutely crazy. This woke liberal person presses Candace Owens on having a traditional marriage. And she's like, why in the world wouldn't you want like sleep around with other people while being married? That doesn't make any sense. So let's get into it. It's crazy. It's wild. And I, I have a Bible verse that will tie all of this together from a Christian perspective. Let's get into it. Deal. Earlier, it was like talked about like how, you know, sleeping or letting your husband or wife sleep with someone else is like irresponsible or it's not a marriage anymore. Like, I'd be kind of curious of what you believe a responsible marriage is like or I understand that you have a religious view on marriage but when I think about a marriage I think like I could see somebody saying they're married if it's like completely romantic like you're not allowed to do romance with anyone else like basically what does responsible marriage mean to you marriage is not just a contract like it, it wasn't just like the government came up with a contract for people to get married you know the, the history of marriage you can't separate that from the church the problem is people are trying to make things cool and trying to update and make them modern and now people are saying you can have a polygamous marriage and you can bring in other people on the outside of a marriage what's the point of getting married Literally, I'd like to ask the question, if you think that you can, if, if, if you want to marry somebody and then outsource the sex, you know, outsource the responsibility, outsource what the labor of love is actually supposed to be about, why not just stay single? So you wouldn't do a threesome with your husband? Absolutely not, because he's my husband. Do you Did believe you even have to ask that <laughs> to get the well, answer? I mean, there's married not. couples that want to have threesomes, and, 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 and you know some what of happens? these ladies should, are you should, bi-curious. And you should jump into those Reddit threads because every <sighs> single time that marriage ends in divorce, there's so many Reddit threads. No, about, they don't. Oh, and a lot yeah, of them I have, actually I have regulars really of well over five too. years. Okay, and there's some that not do divorced. Really well. Sure. Whatever you say, it only goes downhill when you allow that to happen. Do you right. believe well, atheists can get married? I think atheists get married because they want a tax break. I don't see the point in an atheist getting married. Why don't you just live with your partner, okay? Wh whoever it is that you're dating, you're at the stage you said, I don't know if you live with your boyfriend or whatever it is, why take the next leap? If you're wearing crosses for fun and you know well, it I mean seems if like you're, you're actually you're, asking yeah, the question yeah. I mean because then I would just be pledging the fact that I would want to be with them forever but I don't you can, really you can just be with them forever so why what is it right, that you crave that when you when you want to get married what's that next step for you what does it mean what's the difference between dating it's, and marriage because it's a commitment is dating not a commitment? <laughs> it's a commitment, but it's saying a but next in, step. In, in, it's within, solidifying it. Okay, solidifying what? Because if solidifying you're, if a bond. You, if you think divorce is okay, then what's the point of getting married? Decide to live with someone for the rest of your life because you want. That's what you want. But if you think divorce is okay, then what's the point of getting married? Between two people that love each other. Okay, but it, well, what is solidified? If you can then jump into that next commitment, which is the exact same as dating, and you can sleep with other people, and you can put topless photos on the internet, what are you getting married for? Pictures on Instagrams to say you did it? I mean, I'm not sleeping with other people. W what's but the difference for you between dating and marriage? I just told you, it's a bond between two people. You're solidifying that by law. You're literally making it known. I want to be with this person forever. It isn't just a simple breakup. Oh, I can go and do whatever the fuck I want and leave. It's a partnership. It's a bond. It's forever. But there's no difference between dating it, and marriage there is other difference. than the idea in your head that it's a bond because you're saying also But it's not an idea in my head. Okay. It's on paper. Oh, okay. It's the paper. That's, and that was before but it's I was not a it, it's But I'm saying it's not a tax break. It's a legal and, thing. And I think I'm, for people I'm that are committed. to somebody for the rest of my life. Yeah. Well, I think for people that, are, that think about marriage and don't think about a cross as something funsy to wear, it's not a piece of paper. Um, you know, it, it, it is a union between a man and a woman, a sacred union that should be protected from external forces. Um, definitely not something that you open up. You did how I would feel disgusting if my husband ever came to me and said, I want you to sleep with another man or oh, sleep with another woman so that I can fill my sexual fetish. I mean, it's, 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 it's an utter perversion of what it means to be married and it will lead to divorces. People that have this perspective will, and I'm not saying that if you don't do it, you won't get divorced yeah. 100%. But I do want to say that there is probably a reason that a lot of sex workers struggle to find people that want to marry them. Well, can I say a lot I of disagree. the perversion that comes if you are not going to be acceptant with your partner, if he comes to you and is like, hey, uh, I really like getting pegged. I want you to peg me. And you're like, ew, that's so disgusting. Like, I would never do that. You want me to eat your ass? I would never do that. Well, then, huh? okay, what are you going to do? Divorce hmm? him? Or I'm, what are you going to do? Realistically, I'm asking you, you an old... I'm asking... Hold on. I really want to... I want to know. What are you going to do? That's well, your husband. I He's think, like, hey, babe. I think one of the things about marriage that's really beautiful is I know what my, my husband, before we got married, 
I think I, I know who but he is. But things change, and maybe he wants to start exploring. He yeah. wants to start doing what? Uh, so exploring. say, he so he ram. wants to start exploring, and he's like, oh my. Yes. I think it's very important who you choose your husband and wife, and you know their character and what they're going to want and expect to want later on in life. Sex between a husband and a wife is something that is a bond that only can be between you and your wife. My gosh, maybe I do want you to like eat eat my ass and what? I I kind of and I kind of want you to peg me. Like I'm kind of I kind of want <laughs> anal penetration from you cuz you're my wife and you're so beautiful and hot and we're married and we have kids together and I'm and I'm feeling a little bit kinky and I with you since we have this special marriage and bond. Mm. How would you feel if we could just try this out just this one time, babe, please? I think it would probably indicate to me that my husband was involved in some perverse world, whether it was through pornography, that something else was okay. happening on the side, because these aren't normal. Like, if your husband or wife are starting to do, like, wanting to do crazy perverse things, um, there's probably some outside thing that is causing them to have these fetishes or weird stuff, like... At the end of the day, that is messed up. This is crazy. This is so perverse. Um, no guy will ever want that, not unless they're gay. It just it just shows like what this world has come down to. And all things that people just think of okay. when they wake up. So like, what's hey, your next I'd move? Really like a strap on dildo. Okay, right. Well, so what's your next move? Uh, what's the ultimatum? He's wait, gonna divorce me if wait, I don't so peg him. So what's the next move? Crazy. Uh, I would think that that individual would probably need therapy and not the kind that you give. Okay, hmm. and. But but you're gonna stay with you don't this person? you don't immediately divorce. Okay, marriage is you're about say, working through issues and working through problems. Okay, you don't immediately right. divorce them. And this gets back to what she was saying about because if your husband, if suddenly a woman doesn't want to have sex, which would be another huge issue in a relationship, I would hope that my husband wouldn't instantly divorce me. But I would hope that they would. Well, take some guys the are terrified of that, and some guys don't even feel like they can open up to their wives about that. S about that sounds stuff. like they need therapy. They, they need, need therapy. therapy. Open up and, 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 yeah, I you know. gotta work on your marriage. But the thing is, is that they'll come to us talking to us about that you know what i mean so it's just like and i think I don't that know. that's I think unhealthy and i yeah. think that you know the fact that sex workers exist yeah you should never go you should always go to your husband or wife and talk to them and always like i think that's something that only should be between you and your husband you and your wife um as this what you believe to be a solution when in fact that's a detriment because you're getting in the way of the wife and the husband being able to communicate um and so i would much rather my husband go if there was an issue and your wife's not having sex i'd rather him go talk to a priest i'd rather him go talk to another male a male sit down and talk about hey man you should talk to her about okay, this but let's i'd rather real. him what no, man let me finish my statement that. i'd rather him what do you mean bros talking to each other about things that's a normal i'd, I'd rather if sex, i have an issue in my it's pretty, it's pretty normal i'd rather go talk to my sisters about things that are going on no, in my I marriage said, there's man? a lot of steps you can take before you talk to a prostitute about your marriage i just I, I, maybe i'm crazy maybe i live in such a crazy uh, well, well, i'm saying what man is willing to do that I'm gonna take, turn on a Taylor Swift a song, those on cry a little side, bit in my room. I don't know. There's a lot. I would turn to Wild Taylor Swift before I would go to a prostitute to, about well, my marriage. And I know, but you're not a male, so no, I'm just saying like men can talk where? to other. What are you talking about? There's all of these podcasts of men talking, you know, talking to men and, and being inspirational and talking about porn addiction and talking about the things that are are, are corrupting men's minds. That's out there. Okay, and, and those I are those that. are. I would r much rather my yeah, husband. That's something that I would definitely have them do is admit. Like, if they're dealing with sexual sins, things that are causing them to lust and have a perverse type of sexuality, yeah, I would get therapy and also just, like, accountability partner. Talk to, like, a pastor. I've been listening to those men right. and look for guidance, whether it's in the church, I whether it's you. on a podcast, whether it's a spiritual leader, than to turn to a prostitute in a brothel. I hear you. So there's a lot of steps that you can take from... We're having an issue in our marriage to my husband's at a brothel laying next to a prostitute talking about yeah, issues. I, I, I think, actually, let me, let me just step in really quick. Uh, I do think, though, I, I would like to redirect the conversation because I do think it's probably a very small portion of people who are married are seeking to bring in a prostitute to for the husband. It just seems like such a small kind of, I don't know. What's up? Really quick. Uh, statistically, married men are actually the highest number of clientele for prostitutes. Yes. And that's why I'm saying, please listen for me. I'm literally telling you guys, males come to us and say all this stuff, which is like, they're first scared of you guys because how you might react. Two, 
they feel like they can't be honest. Yeah, they're scared of hiding the fact that they're going to a prostitute for sex. That's what they're scared about because no husband or wife wants to hear that ever. That's cheating. That's committing adultery. That's something that is against what God wants you to do. It's perverse. Open with you guys. That's why they result in coming to places yeah, like just that. Just so you guys know, that statistic doesn't mean that the majority of married men go to prostitutes. So I you didn't did, say that. No, I know. I'm just letting her know because she said, like, yes, like it was if it was a debunk. No, and I think no, what no, he's no, saying no, is that no. the majority oh, of married nice. men don't yeah. turn I'm just saying, yeah. like, to prostitutes. A lot, so there might be a small lot of married men is what I'm and they saying, might be majority right? married. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I get that. Okay. I think that's a good reason to have, I guess, to, on the, point of like something was brought up earlier about like how, what is like a responsible marriage to you so part of being a good partner as like a wife or a girlfriend to whoever you're with is making them feel comfortable telling you anything especially if it's something that they think is serious enough to consider leaving like their relationship with you for like if, if it's serious enough that they would consider divorcing you if they can't explore the sexual fantasy or anything like that I think that's just a part of being good on the, um, I, I I agree with what you're saying here that they um, that these men don't feel comfortable that they could tell their wives, and I guess that's just a part of being not that it's justifiable that you as a wife you should give in to any sexual fetish your partner brings to you. It's whatever you're comfortable with and wherever your boundaries are. But um, I guess that's a part of that continuous conversation with them, so that they always feel comfortable bringing up anything to you as a right. friend, as like. Right. confidant and knowing you're, they're not going to be judged right. guys if you're dealing with any sexual sins i encourage you to bring it to god tell someone bring it to light do not hide it i think that's the problem with these marriages if they're hiding sexual sins things that are going on that's just going to be super detrimental to your marriage and it's only going to bring you down to death and destruction so now i have a bible verse that will tie all of this together first john 1 5 says this is the message we heard from jesus and now declare to you god is light and there is no darkness in him at all first john 1 6 says so we are lying if we say we have fellowship with god but go on living in spiritual darkness we are not practicing the truth but if we are living in the light as god is in the light then we have fellowship with each other and the blood of jesus his son cleanses us from all sin if we claim we have no sin we are only fooling ourselves and not living in the truth but if we confess our sins to him he is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us from all wickedness so i encourage you to confess your sins today go to jesus make him your lord and savior believe that he died on the cross and rose again in three days in the description below you can click the link to help you decide to follow jesus for the first time i encourage you to do that today it will make all the difference in the world and truly help you save you from your sins it will help you to break free from any sexual sin do that today thank you guys so much for watching please like this video and subscribe i'm trying to hit 20,000 subscribers by the end of the year and i know we can do it with your help so thank you for all your love and support it means the world and guys you might like this video here peace